The Earth is the main reason why humans exist. For over 4.5 billion years, humans rely on Earth for its supplies the oxygen we breathe, the food we intake, and the ecosystem we need for survival. However, recent phenomena have shown that we failed as humans to take good care of Earth. We failed to conserve the beauty of the nature, and we failed to keep its purity for everything revolving within every community. Nowadays, a phenomena called environmental pollution became very rampant globally. Environmental pollution is defined as the contamination of the physical and biological components of the earth or atmosphere system to such an extent that normal environmental processes are adversely affected. Moreover, pinpointing it out, a recent study in 2020 noted paper as one of the main culprit in terms of damaging the environment. In reality, paper alone accounts for 40% of all waste in the United States. That adds up about 71.6 million tons per year. What many hope to reduce, reuse, and recycle, unfortunately and overwhelming ends up being dumped into a landfill. Waste from paper is a big issue. It's easy to forget that production of paper also has a devastating impact on the world we live in. Deforestation has increased at an alarming rate. Paper manufacturing used up to 40% of all global wood. The process of manufacturing paper releases nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and carbon dioxide into the air, contributing to pollution such as acid rain and greenhouse gases. Minimizing the scope of the issue, Environmental Studies Institute in 2018 has stated that the paper industry in the Philippines plays an important role in the industrialization program of the country, contributing to the growth of the economy and providing employment opportunities to thousands of workers. Unfortunately, it also contributes to the waste generation in the country. On the other hand, the consumers can minimize the paper usage. However, it's not enough. That's why numerous campaigns regarding paper recycling were made in the present generation. However, the conduction of successful, productive, and accurate paper recycling takes time and deeper understanding, analysis, and studies. If paper recycling was done accordingly, paper pollution can decrease for the following years. Paper recycling is amassed as of now due to the increasing paper pollution globally and even within the country of Philippines. And one of the various potential ingredients and substances in terms of paper recycling were the okra and cork. Based from a recent study, okra is a flowering plant known for its edible seed pods. Okra contains semi-fibrous and rich in protein substance called okra mucilage. Mainly, okra mucilage refers to the thick and slimy substance found in fresh as well as dried pods. Mucilage substances are usually concentrated in the pod walls and are chemically acidic polysaccharides associated with proteins and minerals. Whereas another fibrous material within the local communities, specifically in rural areas, is the core. The core fiber is the thickest and most resistant of all commercial natural fibers. Low decomposition rate is the key advantage for making durable products. Rich in protein and fibrous substances were definitely accurate in terms of paper making. The main goal of the research is to recycle paper waste through the use of okra mucilage and corn. Thank <laughs> you.